Hey guys, it is Boston McManus here with a quick video to show you some Prime 95 and Furmark videos. Uh, just some benchmarking and uh, video to show you the temperatures that this computer gets while running these programs while recording a uh, benchmarking process now. The benchmarks will not be as viable in this video as real life because I am running this screen recorder which does use a decent amount of resources. So. First off, we'll open real temp just to show the uh, CPU temperatures. As you can see right there, that's my CPU running right now with the video recorder. Um, when it is by itself and not recording, I get right around where those TJ Maxx temperatures are down at the bottom. I usually get around in the mid 40s for my cores. As you can see, they're up in the 50s now because I am recording the screen and it is using resources. So. We will go ahead and open Prime 95, and you can see it right here, and we will do a typical regular benchmark. Now with Prime 95, I like to just do the regular um, test, the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, let's there it is, blend. I like to do the blend test. That's what's selected first. Uh, it tests it on four threads because I have two cores but four threads. Um, the blend test, as you can see, it tests some of everything and lots of RAM. And since I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, that'll be good to test. So let's go ahead and start running this test. Run it for a few minutes so you guys can see the temperatures. Alright guys, so I have been running Prime95 for about 5 minutes now. As you can see over here on real temp, the first core is about 85 degrees Celsius and the second core is about 82 to 83. The highest temperatures I saw was 90 degrees on the first core and 85 degrees on the second core. So you can see that it runs just fine. I have done a 24 hour test with Prime95 and it has not failed it ran just fine did not overheat did not shut down it was perfectly all right so there is the prime 95 test so i will stop the test now now we will go to firmark and we will do a gpu test and show you guys what the firmark gpu test does on one graphics card so, we need to end Prime 95 here, right there. So, Prime 95 is ended. We'll give the computer just a minute to cool down, uh, get Furmark open while we're waiting. Now, you can see right here, I have two graphics cards. Uh, they're both fairly cool at the minute. The graphics card on the top is the one that shares the same heatsink with the CPU so it is going to be a little bit hot while uh, after doing the Prime 95 so we'll give that a minute to cool down alright guys so now the GPUs have had a chance to cool down as you can see they're both around the same temperature of course the first GPU that's sharing the same heatsink with the processor will always be a little bit hotter because it has to both cool down the processor and the GPU so that's always going to be a little bit hotter than the dedicated GPU I have in the Ultra Bay so we are going to do a quick benchmark preset it's um, a 1080 resolution we'll do the uh, burn-in benchmark this is for one graphics card 1920 by 1080 we're not gonna run it for the full 15 minutes but we will just do a quick probably two or three minute because the temperatures do get up there fairly quickly so you'll be see it be able to see it right away so here we go uh, as you can see I'm getting about 17 to 18 FPS I usually get around 19 to 22 whenever I'm not doing a screen recording uh, but since I am doing a screen recording of course the results will be different now here you can see the First GPU load is at 99, 98. It's right around max loadout. Uh, it is using about 10% of the memory on the graphics card. And as you can see, the second graphics card, it is throttling it, so it is not activated 
and you can tell right there the temperature is still 42 degrees Celsius and it is not being used whatsoever it's got 1% load so you can see the first GPU is getting up there in temperature it's getting up to about 70 degrees Celsius now when I ran this before the maximum I saw out of this was about the high 70s low 80s I think the highest I saw get was 81 degrees Celsius um, the fan is now kicking in it's slowly starting to ramp up so the temperature will creep up but it will begin to steady itself out as the fan keeps up with the heat of the GPU uh, I run this test I run Prime 95 I run both of these tests whenever I build a new computer or whenever I purchase a new computer that is dedicated to gaming because you know running these tests puts it well above what any game will make it do no game will use this amount of graphics that this test is using right now so running this test ensures that any game you play will absolutely run on your system without you having any issues of overheating or the graphics card failure so if your graphics card passes this test you will be able to play any game without having to worry about it failing and you having a bad laptop or a bad custom computer build uh, same with Prime 95 Prime 95 games will not reach absolute 100 percent CPU usage you will see maximum when I game around 80 percent of the CPU being used and that's while using a screen recorder as well so you will not maximize you will not max out your CPU or GPU by playing games this is just a stress test to make sure that it will not fail under even the worst conditions um, the only time I have absolutely maxed out my CPU was when I render videos to load up onto YouTube and I go into the process manager and I set the priority to high for um, the rendering of my videos and that is the only time I see it hit 100. Usually it's in the 90s and very once in a while it hits 100 and it peaks at 100. So that is the only time doing any application usage including games that my CPU has reached 100. So back here to the fur mark, you can see that it is up to 79 degrees Celsius right now. Uh, it has steadily been climbing as the GPU has been getting more and more intense into the program. Uh, it's about a quarter of the way through the program right now, through the entire burn-in. It's a 15-minute burn-in. So this is about as max as it's going to get. As you can see, the temperature just dropped because it's right at its peak. It's about 79 degrees Celsius is the peak of the tests that you will see for this laptop on one GPU and that is the main GPU not the Ultra Bay GPU the SLI GPU it's the same GPU but it's not the dedicated one it's the uh, one that's linked with the processor the same um, heatsink as the processor so you can see right there 80 degrees Celsius just like I said high 70s low 80s is as max as it's going to get you can see right there that on the chart down there it's been right around the same for the last minute or two now so this will be as high as you will see your GPU get during gaming now we're gonna go ahead and exit this a quick video to show you guys both Furmark and Prime 95 two tests to run on your computer to see how it performs and to see the temperatures you get and to see if it will fail under stress now remember these tests were done on a flat surface on a table so it is getting the best cooling it can unless you're holding it up in the air um, you will not see the same results if you are holding it in your lap like I typically do I wanted to have an unbiased opinion so I put it on a table with your lap you'll probably see a couple degrees hotter because you are covering up the fans just a little bit so they will not be able to suck in as much cool air as being on a flat surface like a table so thank you guys for watching I will post more videos soon on how to install a solid state drive I will show the M.2 SSD port and I will show a walk around of the laptop how to take it apart things like that so please remember to comment rate comment like and subscribe and thanks again for watching guys